Hello and welcome to another edition of Phoenix TV. And in the hot seat this week is Jeff McMillan. Jeff, welcome to Phoenix TV. Thanks for having me. Um, you're all healed up now, your injury long gone, but tell us a little bit about how that hampered you earlier in the season. Um, it was, I think, about early December. I uh, had a collision with a guy in Cardiff. He was just trying to cut across the line. I stepped up to try to hit him, and unfortunately our knees came together, and uh, he sprained my MCL on my knee. But uh, with good therapy and good rehab, I was able to get back uh, sooner than later, and it's starting to feel really well now. Knee on knee injuries are always the bane of hockey players, and they can take a while to recover from. Uh, but you seem to be fighting fit again now. Yeah, well, obviously each one is a little different. Mine, mine wasn't as severe as some guys... You know, I can miss up to you know six months, something like that. I was fortunate enough to uh, only miss about three weeks. So, uh, once again, I'm just happy to be back at their plan. So, it's your debut season here with us at uh, Manchester. Previously, you've iced for teams including the very illustrious Dallas Stars in the NHL. Tell us a little about that. Uh, it was just a, obviously a wonderful experience. I uh, played five years in the minor league system with Dallas's farm system, and uh, I was fortunate enough to get a call one day in December to go up and. Uh, very fortunate to play four games. It was you know, all around great experience and something I'll cherish forever. And of course, earlier on this year, you uh, got married, and uh, I understand your lovely bride is over here on these shores at the moment. How are you both adjusting to married life and Mancunian life? Uh, we're both enjoying it a lot. We've had a lot of time to travel and, and see different parts of the country, and uh, we're just really enjoying our experience here. Tell us a little bit about where you come from. Uh, I come from a really small town in Ontario. It only has 2,500 people. So uh, growing up, everything was you know small town style, where you know everybody, you know your neighbors, you know the person that lives across town. So coming to a bigger city like this is, is quite an adjustment. But once again, we're really enjoying it. Have you been drawn into the football debate like some of your teammates have? Not really, no. Tonight is going to be the Super Bowl. Who's your money on? New England. You think they're going to do it? I think they're going to do it. I think they've had too strong of a season to let it slide today. So yeah. Very good. Unfortunately, we don't have much American football around here, so we have to concentrate on the ice hockey since you're not a football person in terms of soccer, at least, or as you call it. So we're going into uh, the run towards the playoffs now. How do you see Manchester's chances? I, well, I think we have a really good team here. I think that uh, we've had some different injury problems throughout the year that have kind of you know, took us down a couple notches. But when we have our full lineup, I think that we, we come together, pr play really well. So. Hopefully get healthy again, get on a little bit of a run going into the playoffs and try to throw together a stretch going in the last couple weekends of the year. Do you think we can make it back to the final four? I would like to think so, yeah. Obviously, I think we have the, the team here that can, can go to the final weekend. It's just a matter of uh, sometimes for us what's when always shows up. So once again, like I said, if we, if we get on a roll and start playing the way we all know what we can, I think we have a really good chance of being there. Some of the teams in the league have got uh, a dedicated bench coach and a head coach, and we have a head coach who plays and having a bench coach. Does it make a difference to your playing style having the head coach of the team out there on the ice with you? Uh, not really. Obviously, everyone has their own style, and, and you just play the game that you always, you've always played, more or less. But uh, Tony's a really good coach. He's got good systems, and, and everyone believes in, in what we're trying to do on the ice. So, uh, you know, everything seems to be going well that way. And uh, one of the recent appointments this year, or rather promotions this year, Scott Bassick uh, was promoted to defensive coach. How have you found him to work with? He's great. Obviously, the, the four of us are all about the same age, and uh, you know we each all try to help out each other as, as much as we can, along with Carl. And you know, Carl's been really good for us. You know, for all four of us, getting a chance, he's he's very eager and willing to learn, always asking questions. So I think, uh, kind of by committee, we've all seemed to help each other. You're talking there about Carl Graham, our British defenseman. Um, the focus of the Elite League in recent seasons has been about improving the British game. How important a thing is that? I think it's very important, obviously. Uh, with the amount of imports that come over, it, it takes away from uh, the British players getting a chance to, to come play in this league. But the ones that are here have proven themselves to be really, really worthy of playing here. And Carl's a prime example. When he first came at the start of the year, compared to where he is now, it's night and day. He's you know, improved that much this year. So are you enjoying your time here in Manchester then? Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, having a great experience and, and really enjoy ourselves. And here's the million dollar question. If you were asked to come back next season, would you consider it? Oh, absolutely. Jeff McMillan, thank you very much. Thank you.